Hi everyone, and welcome to class. Today what we're going to talk about is frozen French horn rotors. You know when we've oiled them and we've used the instruments and we have even cleaned it and put it away for a weekend sometimes is the most, but especially over the summer, we come back to it and all of a sudden nothing moves. So rotors are just completely frozen. I want to show you how we fix that. What we've got is a French horn here that absolutely none of these rotors are moving, even the fourth is just completely froze up, nothing's moving at all but the horn itself is actually really clean. If we pull, if we pull the main slide out of this one, it's a little dry right now because it's been sitting, but you can see how clean this thing is. Nothing on the inside of the tube is dirty. Everything looks pretty darn good on this one. We'll re-lubricate this as we go, but these rotors are still just frozen and nothing's moving. Let's take a closer look and I'll show you exactly what we need to do. What we're gonna do is come in and grab a hold of this screw. Not the big screw, but the smaller one. And we're gonna grab the whole arm that sticks down that actually rotates back and forth and hits the rubber bumpers on this guy. And we're gonna do that with a pair of round nose pliers. Notice how these are round tipped and, not, no, and have no teeth in them whatsoever, not even flat nose, because I don't wanna leave a mark on any of this. We can come in with our round nose pliers and grab a hold of that entire armature right there. Notice how I'm well above um, the plate itself, so I'm not afraid of the tips hitting down here on the plate, but I've got a solid grip on it. And then what I'm gonna do is just turn it from there. I'm gonna work it back and forth once or twice with the pliers, and now I've got some movement out of that. Now obviously the entire rotor is really dry and we need to get that relubricated, but we're gonna do that at the same time we do all the rest. You don't want to push too hard on this. If you pull too hard on these rotors, you are going to bend the rotor stem or something like that. We just want to add in some nice, firm, and gradually increasing pressure as we go. Now on this one here, you'll notice I can get it here just fine, but I want it to go all the way to there. So I'm going to just push into it just a little bit. It probably has some dried out spots from the petroleum based uh, oils that were used to lubricate this that have dried out and left some residue. So we're just trying to push into that residue, kind of break it loose a little bit, get it to flow out, and we'll flush it with the new valve oils. Ooh, that one is definitely stiff. I'm just pushing it back and forth a little bit with my fingers and down here on the rotor as well, trying or the spatula as well, trying to Get it to turn for me. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the horn over. And I'm gonna pull the top set of slides out of this horn. The next step of this process, we're gonna use a really good valve oil. And we're actually going to put just a couple drops down inside the tuning slides to where it actually splashes on those rotors. And we'll actually start to flush some of the minerals and stuff left over from the petroleum valve oils that have evaporated away. I'm going to put four drops of oil down inside of each one of these tubes. And I'm going to start working these rotors back and forth. And this one's going to still take a little bit of help to start off with, and I'm just going to grab the rotor in the back here and twist him back and forth. There we got him going. Tighten, tighten this mechanism up while we're here. Now I'm going to worry about this fourth rotor right here. So I'm going to come over here and pull this slide off. And I'm going to put the oil down in through there.
All right, at this point, the horn is now functional and it's working and moving along. But all we've done is lubricated where the piston actually spins inside the casing. What I really am worried about is on the bearing points. So on a French horn rotor, the bearing plate is in two places. One is right underneath this cap. So we're going to take these top caps off and I'm going to add some oil right in on top of there. Some French horns will have an actual little port down inside, a little hole inside this cap. Feel free to drop some oil in that as well. And I'm going to leave a pool of oil up on top of there. And I'm just going to put this back down to where that pool will stay inside of the reservoir on the cap. And I'll repeat that on all the rotors. The other place that the rotor touches, and we actually have a bearing surface, is immediately underneath this rotor arm. So if we come in real close and look at this one, what I want to do is I want to get oil in underneath this gap here, beneath the silver and above the brass. I want to get it in that gap right there. And that's a really, really tough shot to do, but it's possible. and get it worth the rotors. If you happen to spill any oil while you're at this, just come on in and dry up your spills. The last thing I'm gonna do on this horn is lubricate these tuning slides so they've got a little bit more grease and they move in and out a little bit more freely. But that's it, that's all we have to do to break most rotors free. Now if you've got that round those pliers on it and you're twisting on those just a little bit and it's still stuck, don't push too hard. Take it into a shop and have a, a repair technician that you trust take a look at it. But for the most part, we can break those free. Now, again, I cannot stress to you enough, round nose pliers. Do not use flat nose pliers. Certainly don't use your dad's and grandpa's pair of pliers which has all the teeth in it. You will mar this material up. It's not built for that. You need a round nose pair of pliers with a fairly soft grip, holding it out underneath your hand like this so you can get down in there, got a good grip on the plier, and turn back and forth. If you do that, you'll be able to break rotors free. Make sure you use a really good valve oil like Tech Oil uh, to get those rotors working again for you and play, out, play lots. Talk to you next time.